From the cabin, a 737 MAX and a 737NG look almost the same. But in the cockpit, the differences are subtle, technical and sometimes risky if a pilot is not prepared. Here is what really changes. The MAX runs carbon brakes instead of the NG's standard steel. They are lighter, absorb more heat and cool quicker. That means less brake cooling delays and faster turnarounds, saving airlines money and passengers time. But it also changes braking technique, something pilots adjust for on landing. The Leap 1B engines on the MAX produce more thrust at idle than the NG's CFM 56. On the ground, that means the jet can often taxi without adding power. Efficient, yes. But in a crowded apron, it demands fine handling and careful planning in every taxi brief. Even the landing gear lever is different. The NG has down, up and off. The MAX, just down and up. Hydraulic pressure now cuts off automatically. That sounds minor, but a pilot used to the NG could instinctively move the lever and accidentally lower the gear after takeoff. That is why crews brief it as a trap before every flight. Checklists are nearly identical, but system logic differs. On the MAX, speed brake warnings tie into thrust lever position, and anti-ice lights use amber for faults, not blue for normal. Small changes, but enough to create confusion if you are not fully trained. Threat and error management keeps it safe. To passengers, a MAX feels like any other 737, but to pilots, the difference is in the details. Brakes, thrust, levers and logic. Each subtle change saves money, trims fuel or reduces wear, but only if the crew adapts. So which would you rather fly on, the NG's timeless design or the MAX's efficiency-driven evolution?